Oh, good morning, everyone. Just drinking some H2O, some water, and enjoying a nice, beautiful morning. It is gorgeous out here right now. I'm not kidding you. Um, the smoke seems to have let up from the California fire, which is a couple hours from me out there in Yosemite. It's kind of let up this morning. It doesn't smell like a campfire, but it's not, I don't think it's totally gone. But uh, I'm so thankful that uh, it. I think they seem to be getting a handle on it. But hopefully everybody's having a great morning. Hopefully everybody's got out there and done some cardio. Got your fitness on, guys. Oh my gosh. What's in my mind this morning? Um, I went out for just a few mile recovery run from yesterday's 15 mile run. Uh, so I went for a little recovery run because I had a, I've been doing, I'm kind of running some errands already this morning. And just, just wanted to loosen up my body a little bit. But what's been on my mind... Uh, both yesterday and today is really self-awareness. I just think that is huge. And I know it's just not me, but when you hear me, it's like I'm preaching to the choir. And so that only those who are want to be self-aware are gravitated to anybody talking about self-awareness awareness or self-improvement. Um, I just think that is so, that is revolutionary. That is where the rubber meets the road in wanting to learn new things. And if you're not there mentally or emotionally, you're not going to feel it. You're going to, oh yeah, it sounds great. Oh, it's, it's kind of cool. It's kind of cool. But I think, uh, morning, morning. Uh, self-awareness, self-improvement is everything. Good morning. Um, if the, the old adage, the old phrase, when you're looking for a teacher, one appears. And I think that is so huge and so, like, it's kind of um, basic. It's kind of, um, hmm, how could you say it? Just kind of elementary a little bit, right? If you're looking for a teacher, one appears. What does that mean? When you're... There's teachers everywhere, but it's not until we are looking for one that we notice that they're there. It's kind of that reticular activating system. When you buy, say, a Honda Accord, now they're everywhere. They've always been everywhere, but it's because it's in your mind, now you see it. And uh, it's never been so clear that when, when I was uh, real close to somebody, they were a left-handed person, and they noticed all the left-handed people. I never even... I'm seeing the same thing, but I never really noticed it morning morning just doing videos <laughs> so yeah so um i never really noticed but it's not until you're looking for something that you understand it that you comprehend it that you're able to process this so well, i'm talking about fitness i'm talking about running i'm talking about nutrition i'm talking about health and wellness not only external but internal mentally emotionally of course physically that's what i do i run five six days a week and have been for 28 years I'm a four-time Boston Marathon qualifier. I run 50 miles to 70 miles a week, every week. Now, why do I say it? To, bra to brag, to boast? No, to tell you and everybody listening that they can do this. And if they do, they will be better off because they do. In every way. Physic the physical aspect of it, you know, ha keeping body, I'm about 140 pounds, keeping the body weight down, keeping the bone density strong, keeping the mo muscles with good dexterity, um, those are just really um, uh, outward extension, uh, outward benefit of what really goes on. I'm talking about the chemicals, the dopamine, the serotonin. I'm talking about norepinephrine. I'm talking about lowering the blood pressure, warding off anxiety, depression, sleeping better, the cognitive abilities being even that much quicker. You're able to memorize more. I'm talking all those things that can catapult you to a whole new stratosphere, to a whole new level. But, again, it's not until somebody's looking for that, that a guy like me, or you're attracted to uh, people that, not in a physical way, but, uh, like, you're feeling what they're saying. Um, and I think it's, again, when you're looking for it, they're everywhere. And, uh, but i, I got to be honest with you. I think that um, running is my thing, of course, or in working out and nutrition, but I think that... Um, you know, uh, self-awareness, self-improvement. Those are very few and far between because I think most people get caught up in the busyness of life. They're not 
concentrating on themselves, which they should be. Because if you're not concentrating on yourself first and foremost, then people around you are not getting the best of you. So it's almost like, I don't want to say it's selfish, but I, and that's almost derogatory, but if you, if you do concentrate on yourself, people, hey, hey, now, people get the best of you. So it's not a selfish way. It's really unselfish to do that, but it takes work. This stuff here that I'm talking about, it does take work. It's every day. It's a daily thing, waking up with the attitude of gratitude. And how do you do that? That's health and wellness. That's keeping people, uh, the optimism going. That's keeping the positivity going. And, and, and then you're going to be, um, like watch video. You're going to read books. You're going to want to hear those stories. That's going to keep you pumped up. That's, it's going to keep you on a higher plane that peak performance that um, that attitude of gratitude then you can be the and I can be the best for everybody else our loved ones we can be better for them our children our parents our families our work in our workplace we're gonna add to this world we're gonna be an asset not a liability we're gonna add not take away if we can just daily do that and guess what we can daily do that but it takes work it's easy the negative doesn't take any work. It doesn't take any work to be negative. It doesn't because the negative has more impact than the positive. Case in point, God forbid any of us got in a car accident today. Any of us, any of us, you, me, this is going to be on for 24 hours. But, um, and I'm going to throw this on my, uh, also have a, I also have a YouTube channel called, under the same name, The Motivational Runner. And then I'm going to, I'm going to forward this over to that also. So that, and that'll be on forever, really. So, um, so case in point. God forbid any of us got in a car accident. Um, guess what? We would never forget that day. Ever. The, today. This day will never be forgotten if, God forbid, any of us got in a car accident. Ever. It takes no work to memorize those things. The impact is very great. The negativity. Uh, traumatic, right? But guess what? How about the other 99.9% .9 of the times we didn't get in a car accident? Do we remember that? We just take it for granted, right? We take it for granted. Oh, it's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. Uh, no. So that's what you. What I'm point. The point being is concentrate and be thankful for the, all the times you didn't. That you were able to get to the store. That you were able to feed your stomach. That you were able to walk today. That you were able to get up without any assistance. That you were able to get to work, not only in a car, but have the health to do it, and then have a job to go to to make money. So concentrate on those positives. Concentrate on the things you do have. Don't work on the things you, if you, if you want to challenge yourself, work on the things you don't have. Okay, great. But don't let them impact you in a negative way. Just don't wish things were easier. Wish that you were better. That's what I'm talking about. The, I, I would, I'll shut up with this, but I just started thinking about something. It took me probably four years, five marathons, years ago to qualify for my first Boston Marathon. I, I've since, again, uh, qualified four, but it took me, well, I don't know, it was four years and five marathons or five years and four marathons, I don't remember. But it took me several years and several marathons to qualify for my first. So what did I do? I just continued to course correct, continued to work harder. Yeah, it, it, took, it took a lot out of me because it takes four, five, six months to train for your first marathon. Uh, let alone um, a Boston Marathon qualifying pace. It's not. It's not easy. It's not. It really isn't easy. But it's attainable. So every time I did not w did not make it. Hey, what's up there? Every time I did not make it to the Boston Marathon uh, by a qualifying standard, I said, "Well, okay, back to the drawing board. Start to do it again." Don't wish things were easier. Wish that you were better. So it's a complete person. I don't just want to run. I, I want the nutrition right. I want my the muscles strong. I want the mind strong. I want my emotions strong. So want to be that complete person. Don't be selfish. Be unselfish. And that's by concentrating on yourself and giving others the best part of you. <sighs> That's with this whole motivational, hey, what's up, man? The motivational runner, again, the motivational runner is just a, a derivative or a byproduct of what I have inside me, and it comes out through running. That's, a, that's my way of life. That's my way of giving back. I do believe it's an art form. So, it, you know, yeah, you want to run 50, 60, 70, 80, 100 miles a week, like uh, some of the guys, 100, 130 miles a week, that takes a lot of work, but it's attainable. Don't just sit there and don't go up and down. Be consistent. Be disciplined. 
Anybody can do it for a day, a week, a month, or even a year, but do it for 28 years. I've been doing it for 28 years, and that's a challenge to everybody to daily get up that way and say, I'm going to crush another one, another week, another month, another year, another decade. This up and down thing doesn't work for a lot of people. It doesn't work for most people. That's where most people are at a certain level. If you want to be an anomaly, anomaly, act like one. If you want to be a standout, then act like one. And that's a daily living that way. That's how you do it. Um, okay, that's great. Uh, Jack, Jack, <laughs> I know Jack for a while. That's funny. Yeah, yeah, honestly, Abel, you really, uh, you do need to slow down. Um, if you're jacked up for uh, after four miles, uh, yeah, you have to slow it down. And, and then kind of walk, run, walk, run, walk, run. And I know you were in the Marines. I know you're in the Marines. I know you're like, uh, uh, you know, and, uh, but it, slow it down. Take your time. Don't, uh, you know, get that mind right. Get, you know, get the body right. And, um, and uh, don't, don't push yourself too hard. If you want to push yourself, let that be later. Let it be three or six months away of consistent training. And I guarantee you, you will like, hey, man, I can't believe I'm running 5, 10, 15 miles. You know, if you start doing that, it'll take it over the top. I feel you, brother. Mind comes out through singing. That's right. That's right. If it's through singing, if it's through getting to the gym, if it's through um, your workplace moving up, if it's through selling houses, if it's through your running routine, get something that you're passionate about. And how do you know what your passion is? What What are you interested in? What's your hobbies? And then and you start you start doing that. Don't just take life as it is. Don't say, oh, this is life. This is me. No, no, no. Life is beautiful. Life is wonderful. And I'm not just being hyperbolous here. It's not, I'm not exaggerating. It is. And if you're not feeling that way every single day, then it's time to course correct, paradigm change. Remember, if you change the th- how you look at things, the things you look at change. And it is a fact. I just want everybody to have a great day, Abel and all the rest of you guys. Have a great day. Take it over the top, guys. Crush your workouts, crush your fitness, and crush your nutrition. Get it right, guys. Let's get our mind right, guys. It's not our mommy's, not our daddy's fault. It's our fault. Take 100% responsibility for your life and that will empower you. I guarantee you. I'm done. Didn't mean to get onto that. I just love life. I'm doing everything. 15 miles. I owe you love me. Now you're... (laughs) Yeah, you know, it just takes, honestly, running or just any gym workout or any run. I mean, running. Yeah, I ran 15 yesterday and I ran a few miles this morning, but it just takes time. I've been doing it for 28 years. Pretty consistent. It does take time. But it's attainable. It's worth it. And uh, what do you? What, what? What are the alternatives? Sitting down and watching the the uh, soap opera as the stomach turns? No, don't watch it as the stomach turns or the other whatever they're called. <laughs> and crush my stomach. <laughs> That's right. All right, take it easy, guys. Enjoy. Crush today. It's hump day, baby. Let's end this week and let's take it over the top this week and say, you know what? I'm worth it. I'm going to pay attention to myself because I'm unselfish and I want others to get the best part of me. See ya. Bye-bye.